how can we do this problem without the aid of a calculator? Well, the first thing we want to do is look at the base. Like here we have 125, and anytime you can write the base to a power, right? Here's a base, and here is an exponent. This entire uh, thing is a power. Anytime you can write the base as a power itself, that is the ticket to get the right answer. Okay, that is how you uh, solve these particular problems. And any problem that you're going to be given uh, that uh, can be done without the aid of a calculator will have a base where you can express it as a power. Okay, so 125, we want to write that as a power. Uh, now, before I show you the answer, if I told you to write 25 or express that base, let's say I had 20, uh, 25 to the fourth power, well, I wouldn't want to express 25 as what? A power itself. So that would be 5 squared to the fourth power. Okay, so 125, what is that as a power? Well, hopefully, uh, you see that that is 5 to the third power because 5 times 5 times 5, this is 25 times 5, that gets us to 125. Okay, so that's what you want to do first is write this base as a power itself. Now we have 5 to the third, all of this to the negative 1 third. Now we're ready to take the next step and we're going to have to apply another rule. Okay, so this rule, let me show you an easy example of it. Uh, with uh, this uh, little example right here, is a power to a power. In other words, an outside exponent to an inside exponent. So we're taking a power to a power, okay? Now the formal rule itself is a to the m uh, to the n is equal to a to the m times n. Again, I'm not covering everything uh, in full instruction in this particular video. Uh, it's just, you know, that that's um, a kind of a different level, um, you know, a video, if you will, or of instruction. You do need to get full instruction. This is kind of a little bit of a tutorial, what I'm teaching you here, but we can kind of understand the rule by a simple example like this. So two to the third to the fourth, anytime we're taking a power to another power, okay, what we can do is take that outside exponent and we're going to multiply it by the inside exponent. So two to the third to the fourth is equal to two to the twelfth. Okay, so it's as uh, simple as that. So in this particular problem, we have a power to a power. So we're going to simply take this power here, this exponent, and we're going to multiply it to this inside exponent. And this is an easy example uh, to see this rule in action. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that now. So we have five uh, to the third power, parentheses to the negative one third. So we're going to take this negative one third and multiply it by three. So that's going to be three times negative one third. Of course, I know all of you are experts in fractions, so that's going to be three over one times negative one over three, which it gives us a negative one as our final uh, product here. Okay, so now we have five to the negative one. Now at this point, some of you might be saying, "Okay, I am done. Here is my answer, uh, teacher." And your, you know, your teacher is going to come back and take a few points off. And you're going to be like, what are you talking about? I did this right. Look at all my beautiful work. Well, they're going to be upset about this, this negative exponent here. Uh, they're, they're going to want to see that you understand the rule for negative exponents. You have to take the next step. Now, all the things that I tell you in my videos come from the School of Hard Knocks. Right? I've been teaching this for many, many years. Uh, and of course, I've been doing math for decades and decades and decades. I've made all the mistakes. I've seen all the mistakes. Well, not all of them, but maybe 99.9999% of them. And I'm telling you, anytime I kind of emphasize something to you, you know, I'm basically trying to save you, uh, you know, uh, the heartache of making that mistake. That's a very common uh, type of error. Okay. So if you can kind of have a situational awareness, when you're dealing, doing problems, like say with powers and exponents, and some of this stuff that I'm telling you, if you can kind of remember it, it's going to go a long way. Okay, so we're not done yet. So we have 5 to the negative 1 uh, power. And again, here comes that rule, a to the negative n is equal to 1 over a to the n. Now here, hopefully you could say, oh yeah, uh, 5 to the negative 1, we're going to fit in the rule, it's equal to 5, 1 over 5 to the positive 1 which, of course, is one-fifth, and that is our answer. But let's suppose you forgot the rule, but you just kind of remembered uh, that application of what I was telling you about, that we need to, uh, uh, if we want to change the sign of the exponent, 
all we need to do is move it to the opposite side of the fraction bar. So here, 5 to the negative 1 is up in the numerator. So all I have to do is move it down into the denominator. So that would bring us, that would uh, be 5 to the positive 1 or simply uh, 5, right? And what remains up in the numerator is 1. So that's 1 over 5 or 1 fifth. So I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may want to check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math, algebra, and geometry in this course. I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.